2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we are reminded of our faith in Jesus and how this faith should be fulfilled and translated into daily good works. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says, he has faith, but does not have works. Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm, and eat well, but you do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith of itself 
if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. You believe that God is one. You do well. Even the demons believe that and tremble. Do you want proof, you ignoramus, that faith without works is useless? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered his son Isaac upon the altar? You see that faith was active along with his works, and faith was completed by the works. Thus, the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. See how a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. For just as a body without a spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Lord's commands. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Lord's commands. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Lord's commands. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Lord's commands. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just man shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Lord's commands. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? What could one give in exchange for his life? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this faithless and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. He also said to them, Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come in power. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. 
as the disciples continue to follow Jesus, their master, today in this gospel passage from the Gospel of Mark, the disciples receive a command from Jesus. And that is the command to deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus did not just give them a command. In fact, it was a reminder for them that it was He, the Master, who denied Himself first. It was He, the Master, who took up the cross first. Hindi lamang po ito utos sa kanila, kundi isang paalala na siya mismo ang unang tumanggi sa kanyang sarili. Siya mismo ang unang nagbuhat sa krus. Si Jesus mismo ang unang kumuha ng kanyang krus. The message of the gospel today, the words, carry your cross, take up your cross, is not just a mandate, it is a message of love from Jesus, reminding all of us today that it was Jesus himself who chose the cross. And by choosing the cross, he chose us. Isn't this, my dear brothers and sisters, a beautiful reminder every morning as you celebrate, as we celebrate the Holy Mass, every morning we are reminded that Jesus chose us. Tuwing tayo po ay nagsisimba ng umaga, pagkagising pa lang natin, pagsisimula natin ng ating araw, we already hear the words of Jesus in the Eucharist, This is my body, given up for you. This is my blood, poured out on the cross for you. Every morning, Jesus reminds us, by choosing the cross, I chose you. I did not run from the cross. Even if the demon is tempting Jesus to run away, do not take the cross. Jesus reminds us every day at Mass, I did not run from my cross. I chose the cross. And if I chose the cross, it means I chose you. Tuwing umaga, naririnig natin sa misa, ito ang aking katawang binibigay para sa iyo. Ito ang aking dugo ibinubuhos para sa inyo. Pinapaalala sa atin ni Jesus, hindi ko tinakbuhan ang krus. Pinili ko ang krus. At ang ibig sabihin niyan, pinili ko kayo. I did not choose myself. I chose you. My dear brothers and sisters, if Jesus chose us, are we also ready to choose Him? This is the message of the first reading today from the letter of St. James. He said, If we have faith, are we also ready to respond with good works. What is our faith today? Our faith tells us that it was Jesus who chose the cross himself. By choosing the cross, he chose us. If that is the faith that we believe, 
if every day we are reminded that Jesus chose us on the cross, are we ready to respond with good works and tell Jesus, Lord, I believe that you chose me when you chose the cross. I am also ready to respond by choosing you. If we have faith, then are we also ready to respond with works? My dear brothers and sisters, by choosing the cross, Jesus chose us. Are we also ready to choose Jesus? Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that we may follow Jesus, his Son, and become more and more like him. For every petition, let us say, Father, empower us to follow your Son. Father, empower us to follow your Son. That we, as the people of God, may embrace the cross of Christ and be a living message of hope to people whose care we are entrusted with. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father empower, empower us, us to, to follow, follow your, your Son. Son. That the leaders of our country may hear the cries of the people, especially those who are suffering from injustice. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father empower, empower us to, to follow, follow your, your Son. Son that we may become worthy companions of those who find their life's crosses heavy and burdensome. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father empower, empower us to follow, follow your, your son. son. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, empower us to follow your Son. That the dead may rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, empower us to follow your Son. Almighty Father, may our efforts to follow Jesus show in our lives and in our concern for the needs of others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us and may it become for those who do your will 
the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, in the name of